Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has also made a Dev Channel Insider Preview Build available after a two-week layoff, and the update was made available late on Friday in my region on the 20th. Now, this latest Dev Build is 26120.1843, and the update is KB5043185. Now, something to take note of is that um, the update is delivered in a format that offers a preview of enhancements on Windows 11 version 24H2. So some of these features we have already spoken about in detail on the channel and some of these will be rolling out with this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 version 24H2. Now the first is shared content in the File Explorer and that's on the home page where File Explorer will now provide uh, you with quick access to files that have been shared with you so if you are signed into Windows with your Microsoft account, you'll be able to view files that have been shared with your account, such as email, Teams, chat, and so on. And if you are a commercial customer, Microsoft says, who is signed in with your Microsoft Entra ID account, you will additionally be able to view files that um, you have shared with others. And you can also access this feature by launching File Explorer Home and clicking on the Shared tab up item. And over and above that, um, you will also be able to view a broader set of file types in your recent favorites and shared sections on the actual home page. And that's also a feature that's rolling out with 24H2. Now, the next is this build includes the new Windows Sandbox Client Preview that is now updated via the Microsoft Store. So as part of this preview, um, Microsoft say they are introducing runtime clipboard redirection audio and or video input control and the ability to share folders with the host at runtime and you can access these via the new as we can see here uh, the new three dotted icon at the upper right on the app so windows sandbox client preview has received a bit of an improvement so if you do use that feature and um, that's also rolling out with 24H2. And here's another one. I think we get in with 24H2. They've also updated the lock screen so that the media controls will now show at the lower bottom center of the lock screen now when media is being played. And when I um, posted on this previously, as mentioned, your media controls are normally here to the right-hand side currently. But I think because of these lock screen widgets, Obviously, it moves into that real estate, so now they've got to move it underneath. And I prefer the widget here to the right, but nonetheless, Microsoft moving that now uh, to the lower bottom center, as we can see. And the next is when right-clicking on apps pinned to the start menu, jump lists will be shown for apps that have them such as PowerPoint, as we can see in this example provided. And... Based on feedback, which I think is a good thing, Microsoft has made some updates to the new account manager on the start menu and making the sign out option directly visible and adding a list of signed in users under the three dotted menu so it's faster to switch accounts and makes me think why they hid this in the first place. It just takes a good couple of extra clicks, but nonetheless, at least according now to feedback, they are moving that sign out button. So it just gives you one or two extra sorry, one or two less clicks to actually sign out um, because of this new um, account manager, which I call an ad because obviously Microsoft is adding the Microsoft 365 uh, products on this page. If Especially if you haven't got a subscription, it'll be an advert as we have spoken about on the channel. And uh, yeah, it's also another one where they are trying out a simplified system tray as we've spoken about previously. And this is also making its way into 24H2. A simplified system tray to highlight the date time in the shortened form and to show the notification bell icon based on DND &D status. So without the notification bell icon, you can get to your notifications by clicking the date and time notification center. And you can revert to the long form of the date, time and bell icon visuals by toggling the values in the settings. And I'm actually quite happy to see this, as I've mentioned previously, because it just cleans up the system tray quite a lot and that's also rolling out with 24H2 and then the Microsoft is also beginning to roll out the ability uh, to share local files directly 
from within the search results shown in the search box on the taskbar. And I actually think that's a nice move uh, in the right direction. So as you can see, quite a lot going on in the dev channel for this week. And moving on to another one. Uh, also, once again, in response to feedback, Microsoft say um, they have added a detached virtual hard disk, which is VHD, VHDX button. Uh, to settings making it much simpler to detach your VHD VHDX as needed and I think that's a nice move if you are um, using that feature and then moving on to I think this is the last one for this video yes it is they've designed the settings page for delivery optimization under settings windows update uh, delivery optimization to match the windows 11 design principles so as I've mentioned previously a lot of these we have spoken about on the channel when there were hidden features and then when they became official features in other um, insider flights and now in the dev channel and most of these features um, will be rolling out with our annual feature update um, for and in windows 11 24 h2 and then over and above that guys we get fixes for the file explorer which is always a good thing and then we get some general fixes and because we are still in early preview year, there are a couple of known issues which is, which is expected in a channel like the Dev channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.